Welcome to Winmore TV. I'm here with Steve Brown, founder of the Junior Darts Corporation, and we're going to be talking about that and how you can learn more about Junior Darts Corporation. So, Steve, you started the Steve Brown Academies in 2010. Yeah. Okay, and how did how did you get the idea for the whole thing? Well, basically, my, my son started taking a keen interest in darts at the age of you know, 11, 12. Um, I wasn't very comfortable leaving him in a pub to play darts, you know, and a lot of kids his own age weren't really into darts at the time, so um, I sort of started up a, a little club for him to go in to play. Um, he had a few friends come along. Is that because his uncle was a good player or someone close yeah, to no, the yeah, I think, yeah, I think my dad was a good player, so ah, I think right, that, that's okay, where yeah. the interest came from. Brilliant. But no, but yeah, so, yeah, so I, 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 I converted my dad's um, function room into a little darts area for kids, advertising a local paper, and the first week 25 kids turned up. 25 kids, and fast forward a couple of years, you've ended up then with 11 Steve Brown Academies? Yep, yep, that's correct, yeah. And what areas do they cover? Um, with, well, we've got them from Truro all the way up to, to Cannock, Bedworth, and obviously Jamie Caven's just come on board, so there's one in Derby as well. Brilliant. And now the, um, the we you've come on board now with Winmore as a partner, mm -hmm. and the name has now changed to Junior Darts Corporation. Yeah, I thought that's more apt to the, the age group that we're, we're trying to attract. And, and what's, what is that age group? You're um, in? From 8 to 18, really. We want to keep it um, exclusively under the age of 18. So there's no grey areas, especially when there's alcohol in, involved, yeah. So it's, it's aimed specifically 8 to 18, yep. um, and it's on a graded system. Yeah, uh, the graded system, the thought behind that was, um, you know, a lot of kids have already played darts, that their um, their, their progress isn't really measured. You know, it's difficult to say, oh, I won or I lost, but that's, you know, but so I've got a system that um, we, we aim at 57 different targets on the dartboard, and you're rewarded for your accuracy, as opposed to, um, you know, uh, there's, there's no flukes involved, because it's 57 separate targets. And they, do they play those 57 different games every week in some kind of grading system then? Yeah, so basically you get rewarded. So you, you play three routines a week. Um, at the end of each week, you'll have a total score. And that total score is then averaged over eight weeks, and that will give you your grading. So that grading then puts you against if uh, uh, players of the same grading, then if you've got competitions or... Exactly, it works perfectly in, in terms of competitions. Um, so instead of having a 16-year-old that's been playing for three or four years and a 16-year-old that's just joined... I mean, it's going to be a mismatch. So at least now you, you play against people of your own ability rather than the same age group. And you've seen that, obviously, that interaction's been fantastic. You've got new academies coming on. Um, with the the important thing I like the sound of is the measurability and seeing that. How, how, how yeah. have you seen the kids develop? Well, no, the, the kids develop naturally, obviously, when they come along, we teach them basics. It's very difficult to teach a kid how to hold a dart and throw a dart. There's certain basic rules that you follow. Um, a good, you know, John knows a, a, a good advocate of that, but um, his throw is perfect. But yeah, but in, in terms of kids, I mean, they're very good at teaching themselves, and and naturally, when they're at, when they're in an environment of kids of their own age, they just want to progress, and they, they watch darts on TV a lot more, and you know, learn the checkouts, and that, which helps with their rhythm. And you've had uh, in the years you've been running it now, you've had players that have come from your academy side have made county players, haven't they? Yeah, we've we've got a few internationals. Um, a local lad, Morgan Dobbs, plays for Wells. He's he used to come to Bristol and play in the academies. They've gone to play for senior county as well, and also onto the PDC tour. That's brilliant news. So, how do what what's the aim? How do parents, how do kids get involved and become part of the JDC? Well, first port of call for anybody getting involved now would be to, to go onto our website, um, JDC. Um, co uk that that's under development currently as well yeah um, but i think all the all the details for the junior darts corporation are on the winmore website yeah um with news of the current uh jdc tour as well yeah um should we talk about the tour for a second yeah, what, certainly, what, yeah. That, what was your idea for the tour well obviously i mean we cover sort of a few areas say 11 areas in, in the uk um and the, the idea is that so we, we get to travel around to take take the tour around around the uk you know, and advertise junior dart really, and um, hopefully collect a few academies on the way. And is that open to any child who wants to just come along and enter yeah, on the day? The tours are completely open to anybody. You don't have to be a member, although there are benefits of being a member. Okay, so you can play on the JDC tour if you're not a member of the JDC. All the details are on our Winmore website. Mm -hmm. uh, with all, there's only two venues not decided yet. Yeah, that's later on in the year. But the next one's going to be on uh, April the 18th which is at the Cubal, um, Cubal Centre in Derby. Brilliant. Okay, so if you're under 18, have a look at that. It's how much is that? £1,000? It's, it's a £3,000 prize fund. Um, £1,000 for the winner of the, the finals day. But it's, um, That's a good yeah, prize. It is a good prize for, yeah. for junior darts. Yeah, definitely. That's brilliant. 
So how do, um, looking for obviously the idea is to grow a lot more academies to play under the JDC system. Yep. How, how, do, uh, how do parents, how do people who want to run an academy, how do they get involved? Well, um, if you want to run an academy, obviously there's, you've got to meet a certain criteria, um, which will be outlined on, on the WinMar website and JDC websites. Um, but yeah, so, so if you've know, got to find the venue, then you've got to be police vetted. I mean, it's a bit of a process. I mean, you know, we don't, you know, we want the, the right people involved in in junior darts. So, but if that, that's fair enough, if people are trusting their children, to, mm -hmm. they want it to be safe, they want it to be secure, yeah, uh, and in the right environment. So, I think that's that's fair. Yeah, it's a big responsibility for us. Yeah, and in terms of cost per child, what are you looking at for that? Average cost, we uh, we sort of recommend very, around three pound, but that varies from area to area, you know. And you know, if, if some schools want to get involved, then obviously there'll be a different cost in that as well. And how long will does the, one of the nights last? Is it two hours or? Yeah, we recommend two hours. I mean, the routines okay. generally take, you know, on average academy would have between twelve and twenty kids. So, routines generally take about forty five minutes, and uh, and then they'll play a competition after, and you know. And if if they've got round twelve or twenty kids, how many dartboards would that that then you need? Well, I'd say um, on average you want uh, eight students to one board. Eight per board. Okay, yeah. that's not a bad rule of thumb. No, no, it's good, and it, it's great for the kids. It teaches them discipline. They stand in line. And for some reason, I don't know what it is with darts, but they just the kids that generally are pretty unruly. I mean, I do fostering for you know um, we've done it for eight, eight years, and we get some kids that are quite excitable. But for some reason, darts just calms them right down, and they really enjoy the discipline side. So you find it helps them getting their focus involved. Yeah, and, certainly. Yeah, well, that's brilliant. So I know you've got um, a lot of guys at the operational level. You've now partnered exclusively with us at Winmore to help grow the JDC. So yeah. that's brilliant. What's the um, I, you've got an international. Um, vision as well haven't you yeah well, what we've designed it's evolved over the years um we've now got an app the app is going to really make our what we do portable make we drop it anywhere in the world as long as you've got internet access no matter where you are in the world you can get involved and well, become part of our structure we haven't touched on the app so so the app is in development now i understand mm -hmm. and and this app is it will be for every single player so yep. that they can see their progress yep where they are in the country yep uh, results and for each individual academy. Yeah, the, the, the app's going to be the spine of the academy, if you like. So all the information you need from, from the coach to the student to the parent can go onto the app, see where you're ranked, see what colour grading you are. And, you know, hopefully sort of maybe in time provide a world ranking. Yeah, well, and that's very good. Cause you've, you've, it's obviously gathered some traction because you've had inquiries from Holland, uh, Australia, America. Yeah, yep, certainly. Yeah, and, you know, and it and really is an achievable dream, really, to, um, to get it out there. So it's going to be a worldwide platform driven by an app. Yeah. And uh, with a website launching soon. Well, fingers so crossed, yeah. yeah. So if you want to check it out, check it for now. It's on the Winmore website under the Junior Darts. And uh, thanks for listening, Steve. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having me.